Hello everyone, welcome to this Doric tutorial for beginners. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Doric to build beautiful websites quickly and easily. If you're new to Doric, this guide will walk you through all the essential features and functionalities you need to get started. So, let's dive in. First, let's head over to Doric's website by using the link in the description. You can sign up for a free account or choose a paid plan depending on your needs. Once you have an account, log in and you'll be taken to your dashboard. The dashboard is where you can manage all your projects. To start a new project, click on the Create New Site button. You'll be asked to choose a template. Doric offers a wide range of templates for different types of websites like portfolios, blogs, business sites and more. For this tutorial, let's select a simple template. Click on the template you like and then click Create Static Site. Now you are in the Doric Editor. On the left side of the screen, you have your main menu. This is where you can access all the tools and elements you need to build your site. On the right side, you see the live preview of your site and at the top, you have options to switch between desktop, tablet and mobile views. Let's start by customizing the home page. Click on any element on the page and you'll see a menu pop up with options to edit it. For example, click on a text block to change the text, font, size, color and alignment. You can do the same with images. Click on an image to replace it, add alt text or adjust its size and position. Doric uses a block-based system which makes it very easy to add and arrange content. To add a new block, Click the Add Element button in the left menu. You'll see a variety of pre-designed blocks like headers, footers, testimonials and galleries. Simply drag and drop the block you want into your page. Let's add a new section to showcase some projects. Click on Add Elements, select Heading and Title from the list and drag it onto the page. You can customize it by clicking on it. Change text, font, size and color as needed. Now, let's look at global settings. Click on the settings icon at the left bar. Here you can set your site's favicon, SEO settings, social media links and more. Under global styles, you can choose your site's fonts and colors, ensuring a consistent look across all pages. For those of you looking to add custom code, Doric has you covered. Click on the settings icon, then go to custom code. Here you can add HTML, CSS or JavaScript to your site. This is useful for adding third-party tools like analytics or custom styling. Next, let's discuss the importance of backups and site security. Doric automatically backs up your site so you don't have to worry about losing your work. Doric also takes security seriously. It includes SSL certificates for all sites, ensuring that your data and your visitors' data are encrypted and secure. Regular updates and security patches are applied to keep your site safe from vulnerabilities. Another useful feature is the ability to create multi-language sites. If you have a global audience, you might want to offer your content in multiple languages. Doric allows you to create separate versions of your pages for each language. Each language version of your site can have its own unique content and settings, ensuring a tailored experience for users in different regions. This is a great way to reach a wider audience and provide a better user experience for non-English speakers. Another great feature is the integration with external tools. Doric supports integrations with popular services like Google Analytics, MailChimp and Zapier. To connect these, go to Settings, then Integrations and follow the instructions to set them up. For e-commerce functionality, Doric allows you to add online stores using third-party integrations. While it doesn't have a built-in e-commerce system, you can easily integrate with platforms like Shopify or PayPal to sell products or services on your site. Doric also provides extensive documentation and support to help you along the way. If you ever get stuck, click on the Help icon in the bottom left menu to access tutorials, FAQs and the support team. Next, let's focus on creating a blog. Blogging is a great way to drive traffic to your site and engage with your audience. To set up a blog, click on Pages in the left menu and add a new page. Name it Blog. Doric's blog templates are designed to make your content look appealing and easy to read. Once your blog page is set up, 
you can add different containers to your page. Click on the blue plus icon that says Add New Section. Here, you will be provided with different types of containers. Choose any one of them according to your needs. Now, to add elements, again, click on the blue plus icon. Click on any of the elements that you would like to add to your page. On the left side, you have different options to change your element according to your liking. You can customize each blog post by clicking on it in the collection list and editing the fields. Doric makes it easy to manage your blog content and keep it organized. Plus, the SEO settings allow you to optimize each post for search engines, helping you attract more visitors. Now that your site is coming together, let's look at how to make it live. Click the Publish button at the top right. You'll be given options to publish your site to a Doric subdomain or connect a custom domain if you have one. Choose your preferred option and follow the steps to make your site live. Now, let's talk about the pricing plans for Doric. Doric offers a variety of pricing plans to accommodate different needs and budgets, making it accessible whether you are an individual, a startup, or a larger business. First, there's the free plan. You can sign up for the free plan using the link in the description. This plan is great for those just starting out or wanting to explore the platform without any financial commitment. With the free plan, you get access to a limited set of features. You can create one website on a Doric subdomain, which includes hosting, free SSL, and access to some of the pre-designed templates. This plan allows you to get a feel for how Doric works and whether it meets your needs. Next, we have the personal plan. This plan is priced at $18 per month, making it an affordable option for individuals and small businesses. With the personal plan, you get all the features of the free plan, plus a custom domain, the ability to export code, and access to premium templates. This plan supports one website and includes more advanced features such as forms, custom scripts, and integrations with email marketing tools. The business plan is the next step up and is ideal for growing businesses and startups. This plan is priced at $39 per month. It includes everything in the personal plan, but allows you to have up to three to 10 custom domains. You also get additional features such as CMS and blog hosting, team collaboration tools, and more storage and bandwidth. This plan is great for businesses looking to scale their online presence. For larger businesses or those with more demanding needs, there is the agency plan. The agency plan includes all the features of the business plan, but supports up to 10 websites. It also provides advanced features like white label options, client management tools, and priority support. This plan is perfect for agencies or businesses managing multiple client websites. In summary, Doric offers flexible pricing plans to suit a variety of needs, from individuals and small businesses to large enterprises. The free plan is perfect for those who want to try out the platform, while the personal, business, and agency plans offer more features and flexibility for growing businesses. No matter what your needs are, Doric has a plan that can accommodate you, making it a versatile and cost-effective alternative to more traditional website building platforms. That wraps up our comprehensive Doric tutorial for beginners. We hope you found this guide helpful and feel confident in your ability to create a stunning website with Doric. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. Don't forget to click the link in the description to try Doric for free.